Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. We are in the middle of a pandemic and a lot of people are losing their jobs. They've been on unemployment for a long time, but there's many people out there that haven't skipped a beat because a lot of it has to do with mindset. I've seen people that have lost everything. I've seen couples that both of them have lost their job, but they try to figure out another way to make money. And not everybody thinks that way. So don't, please don't. If you haven't been that way and you're, you're down and you're like, I don't know what to do, I'm going to give you some information today, okay? One, I'm going to tell you some of the skills that you might have that you can use to make money online. Two, I'm going to show you how to create a storefront or how you can um, have a place to promote yourself. And three, how to let everybody out there know about you, okay? Everything's online. Every, if, if nothing else, most people have a cell phone or a laptop. And if you have those two things and access to Wi-Fi, even if you have to go drive and sit in McDonald's parking lot and use it for free, you can make money online. But you have to put the work in. It's not just going to come to you. But hopefully, I, I pray, I really do, that one person out there who has felt really discouraged, doesn't know what to do, I hope that you were led to this video because not, again, not everybody thinks that way. And that's what I'm here for, right? Um, my brain does that for uh, for some reason. I'm always trying to think of how to solve problems and, and, and what can I do to make the next buck, right? So I sat here and tried to put myself in your shoes. What if I did lose everything? how can I make money online? Okay. And I know there's a lot of videos out there. Watch them. This isn't the only one. I'm, I'm breaking this one down into three general categories. Number one, we'll talk about the skills. What skills do you need? Do you like to read? You can make money reading books, audio, creating audios for other people. Do you like to listen to music? You can make money by listening to music and giving your opinion about the music that you were listening to. You get paid for that. Can you believe that? You can go watch somebody's course. There's a lot of digital courses out there. Get on YouTube and you can see all those big gurus out there. I'm talking people that have millions of followers. They're making lots of courses and that's how they make their money besides people following them on YouTube and watching. Um, but they need somebody to, before they put something out, they may pay people to go through their course and tell, tell them what they think. How easy was it to go through? And you might think, well, I'm not smart enough to do that. They don't want um, college educated people doing that. They want the average person, and you are smart enough, by the way, they want the average person to go through to make sure that they have created something that anybody can follow. Sometimes being smart and being too smart can hurt you. Um, you might be using language that, that the rest of us don't understand and they need someone like us, okay, to, to watch that course and to watch the videos that they're making and let them know, yes, I understand that. So those are some things. Now, other things. I do have, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a playlist of, of all those things that I just went through. There's some videos that talk about those in more detail. But what about other skills? Um, do you like to write? Be help bloggers. If you go, most YouTubers that start a blog, a website with a blog, do not write their own blogs. A lot of times uh, the, what they'll do is they'll take the video, and this is what I do. I take the video, I get it transcribed into words, and then I pay somebody to take that transcription. They're my words, and they put it into writing format. They edit it and post it as a blog with my video. I don't like to write. I don't have the time to write. I can, but I don't enjoy it. I would rather talk. I would rather make a video than write. So any YouTuber out there, you could ask them, do you want me to help um, take your videos and transcribe them and turn them into blogs for you? I mean, that is a really good way to make money. Um, maybe you just like to write your own blogs. You could do that too. You can advertise yourself as you give me the topic and I'll write it and I'll do a beautiful piece for you. People make easily $25 an hour doing that. And that's at the low end. That's not even at the high end. Maybe you're really creative and you like to make logos and different graphic design and things like that. People pay for that. Look at YouTube, those thumbnails. <clears throat> Some people pay people to make those thumbnails. The channel art on their YouTube channel, they pay for that. Facebook, go look at people that have Facebook. They, they pay people to make the YouTube banner at the top all that stuff. They pay people. Did you know that some of the people that are in business, they don't even make their own posts anymore on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. They actually pay somebody to create their posts for them and then put them in a scheduler for them and, and they schedule them. So 
think, I hope I, I hit a nerve there. Is there something there that you enjoy doing already using your phone? You might sit there and go, well, I love to be on Instagram. Then create some kind of a service with Instagram. I'm in this business and I'm telling you right now, you nobody has enough time to do everything themselves. And if people started out like I did from scratch, zero knowledge and not a lot of money to put into it, I had to build myself up. And then as the money comes in, then I start saying, okay, now I'm going to hire somebody. More money comes in. Now I'm going to hire. So I have a list of things I want to do. I don't have the time. So all of your marketers out there are in the same boat. All right. They need you and they will pay you for something that you can serve. Now, the second question was, well, okay, I want to, um, create logos. Okay. For people, I love graphic design. Maybe I can create some posts for people, some logos and the different channel art, ebook covers, things like that. And you're like, well, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. I don't have a website. You don't need a website. Okay. What you're going to do, and I'm going to put a list of these at the bottom, but here's one called 99designs.com. You go to this company and then you list yourself on their website. <clears throat> so they, they've done all the work. They've got the website and you list yourself and say, I can do logos or I can do ebook covers or whatever that it is that you do. And then people who are looking to hire a freelancer, that's basically what you would be doing. I would go to the site and say, hey, I'm looking for somebody to make logos. And I might have to fill out this long form and say what I'm looking for. And then they'll match us up. Or maybe you will go into the queue and look for people and, and go ahead and say, hey, I'll do it for you um, for this amount of money. <clears throat> But that's what you do. You go into freelancer websites and I'm giving you a list of five of them today and they're going to be down in the description. So 99designs.com. Um, maybe you are really good at designing websites. Um, that's another service. I'm going to keep thinking of them as we, as we go along. The next one is called Upwork. I use this one all the time. And look right here. Any writing, design, um, mobile development and web development. Let's look under writing, like all the different types of writing that you can do. So what I would do if I'm looking for somebody, um, I would go in and I would say, Hey, I'm looking for somebody to, to write on my blog. And then I, like I said, I would go up there and put that in the search, but just in general, look at some of the things that are coming up. Copywriters. Copywriters are people that are really good at writing copy for sales. Um, it, that is something that some people have a gift for. Um, if that's you, put you know, go ahead and put yourself here. Advertise yourself. Um, also, this one says lawyer and freelance writer. So maybe they're very good at writing up stuff, uh, documents for lawyers. This one is expert copywriter. Um, right here, um, proofreader. Um, some people write a novel and they just want somebody to proofread it and edit it for them. What an easy job if you love to read and you can, and you're good at editing. So those are just some of the, the ones that popped up. Let's go ahead and put in something for design. We talked about logos. So let's go ahead and say logo. I'm looking for someone to create a logo. Now I've looked for these before and people will charge as much as $75 um, to make a logo. Here you go. $60 an hour, $55 an hour. But if, and, and I have a friend that makes logos and it's funny. Um, I know how easy it is because she has bought software that helps her do it, but she'll get $75, um, to create logos for people. And she'll, what she'll do is she'll go in and ask you what you want and create five or six different variations of things. And then the people pick it. Rarely does somebody not want one of those first five or six. And I know it takes her less than an hour to do it. Um, cause I've, I've seen her, but th it just gives you an idea of, of how, you can post what you're doing. These are people are all freelancers. They've gone in, they filled out the paperwork, <laughs> filled out the forms and everything to say what they're doing. Now you might say, yeah, I want to make logos, but I also want to do thumbnails for videos. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Thumbnails. Um, thumbnails. That's the, oh, I spelled it wrong. Thumbnails are the little um, thing that pops up when you look at YouTube videos. Um, oh, it, I did. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> there you go. I'm a teacher too. So I'm, I teach math though. I teach third grade math. Okay. There you go. Thumbnails. So you can also put your name in there for doing thumbnails 
and for doing logos and for doing ebook covers. So you, you want to separate each one of those jobs and put yourself in there three or four times and so that you can get picked up on these searches. So you see how I'm searching, okay? Upwork is a really good company to work for. I've Like I said, I've used them before. Here's another one. It's called Fiverr. And let's go into Fiverr and let's look for video uh, YouTube expert okay some people using youtube will get to the point where they might hire somebody to come in and maybe do the descriptions and the uh, search engine optimization and all that kind of stuff okay so let's see what comes up um these people are saying i will do video editing so what would happen is i could make my videos i would post them in a drop box and then hire someone and they would go in and edit them and then post them for me and and whatever you agree to maybe they'll go in and uh, post the description at the top as well and do some um, search engine optimization ranking now that I might be going over your head if you're new and you're not really sure what that is but I'm just showing you that once you get into this business and start understanding more and more your skills will start to expand and you can make more and more money so definitely fiverr.com this one is called um, the creative group I'm sorry about that I don't know what happened here Um, this one was more, it's called the creative group, but they were more for people who are already freelancers. And what they do is they go in and take top freelancers and give them a higher, more echelon platform. So I'm going to kind of move away from this one, but these are just some things, um, you know, if you're already doing it, then this is a thing that you can go to. Um, here's one funnel Rolodex, um, this is from click funnels, but what, um, what they've done is they made a funnel Rolodex. So they're helping some of their clients who have been using click funnels to build their business. A lot of those people starting out were freelancers. Maybe they know how to design funnels or maybe they know how to design or they're really good at copyright or different things like that. So you can go in here and really get top notch creative people off of a uh, funnel Rolodex. But if you're really, really good at what you do, then don't be afraid to apply and get your name in here. You might want to start out with one of the other places and then work your way up to it. Now, how do you get your name out there? How do you, how do people know? Let's say you're on um, Upwork, all right? You're already on here and you want to do logos and you're like, well, how, how do I get my name out there? How do I get people to drive them to me? Yes, people will look and, and I'm competing with everybody else that's on that site. You can start telling your friends and family through Facebook. Get on there and say, hey, I just started freelancing. You know, and don't be afraid to say, you know, I lost my job during the pandemic and I'm, I'm trying to find a way to make money, how to make men's ends meet while we're, before I get while I'm waiting to get back to work. OK, everybody's in a different place. I know. Some people are getting back to work already, but then it's kind of like a domino effect. It's a, other people are losing their jobs. You know, a lot of, because we shut down the hospitals so that we could get all the patients to come in and then all the patients didn't come in. You had a lot of people that are getting laid off in the medical profession until they get back up and rolling again. So it takes time. So th there is that, that uh, gap in there, you know, of people who are still looking for work. So don't be afraid to say that, that I'm, I'm waiting to get back to work. Um, you can go to LinkedIn and put a profile there and say, these are some of the things that I'm doing. Um, YouTube, if you were interested in the blogging, just go in and, and directly look at some people on YouTube channels that are trying to build their business and say, Hey, have you thought about blogging? Why don't you hire me to do it? And, and just like I told you, you, you take their YouTube video transcribe it with a company called temi temi.com it shoots back from audio to written into a script transcription and then you create it into a blog if you know how to write that is easy 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 money because you don't have to do a lot of thinking you're just editing it making it look pretty and then adding some flair to it so that people will read it and stay engaged so go ask people on YouTube, you know, have you thought about that? I would be willing to do this for you. And maybe you can have an example, take somebody, take their video and, and get it transcribed or take somebody's and say, listen, here's a video that I found. I transcribed it and this is what I produced. What do you think? Um, that's what I did when I was looking for someone and everybody, just about 90% of the people that I was talking to, because it's, it's scary on the other end to hire someone. You want to make sure they, they're going to do a good job and follow through. But that was one of the things, the people that offered to show me their work were the people that I paid more attention to. Because why would I hire somebody for X 
amount of money to do a job and I don't even know what the work looks like. And so that's just going to make you look more reputable, more credible. If you show some of the work that you've done or do some work, just do it and then um, show it to them. I hope this was helpful. Down in the description, I'm going to put those five different links where you can start looking for work. I'm going to put a playlist down there. Whoops. I'm going to put a playlist down there as well where you can um, go ahead and look at some of the other videos that I made on how you can make money from home online using your phone, using your computer, and, and hopefully you can find something that works for you. But there are so... The blessing in all of this is the uh, this time that we live in where you can make money sitting at home. There was a time when you couldn't do that. Did you ever think that all the kids and just about all the kids in the, the world are learning, you know, doing school from home and all the businesses that sent people? And, and many of us knew that. I have always taught from home for the last 20 years, but everybody thought we were crazy. Well, now guess what? We're not right. Um, and I build this and I'm building this business from home. So for my retirement, so it'll be there. I'm not counting on those few dollars that have been put aside for me. I'm, I'm counting on myself to create my own business that will continue to generate income even after I'm not putting in 40, 50 hours a week. I can get down to 10 hours a week and everything is set in motion. All right. And we can talk about that later, but it can happen. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and I thank you for watching. And again, I, you know, my prayers go out to you. If you're watching and you've lost your job, hopefully there's something here that helped you. And don't be afraid to ask me in the comments. If you're looking for something specific, I would be more than happy to help you find something. Okay. You have a good one.